Now, is there anyone out there who hasn't heard the urban myth that after World War II, the Japanese renamed a town USA, USA? It was all so they could deviously stamp their cheapo products made in USA. The Urban Legends website explains the origin of the myth as... Almost certainly a tongue-in-cheek joke inspired by someone's noticing the coincidence of a town in Japan named USA and perhaps fueled by American xenophobia or lingering resentment of the Japanese. We're delighted to report that we found a radio presenter who still believes the myth. Bob Francis does the late night shift on Adelaide Radio 5AA. Now, years ago, I can remember 50, 60 years ago, you bought everything from bloody Japan. It was piss weak, it was terrible, it was, it was a copy of everything. They even bought an island off Japan and called it USA, USA, and it was called Made in the USA. And this was after the war. Bob's old enough to remember after the war, so maybe we shouldn't highlight his little mistake. Certainly, we shouldn't be rude or dismissive about him getting it wrong. Unless, of course, he doesn't show the same respect to his elders. Two days before he made his gaffe, a listener called Constance phoned Bob to talk about Guantanamo Bay detainee David Hicks. But she had trouble remembering Hicks's name. I was just, just, just going to bed when I was listening to the last chap you that spoke about uh, Biggs, is it? About what? About Biggs. Biggs. About Biggs, you know, there was a guy over in, um, you know, that uh, going to court and all that. Hicks. Who? Hicks. Biggs. No, H I C K S. Oh, Hicks, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm, Dick I'm Brain. Just going Hicks. Off Hicks. Hicks. Yeah, of course Hicks. it is. Hicks. Yeah. Well. Hicks. It was the best call that I've ever heard anybody speak on your um, what, because radio they, show. Why? Because they liked him. Now, I'll just go, just please listen yeah. to me. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, what? I, I bet he went to a better school than St. Peter's. No, it was I, very interesting to talk to, darling. I, and would, I really if enjoyed it. I if hope you're you smart enough. A talk back if you're smart you enough, you'd know I went to Prince Alfred to Dick Brain. You t I beg your pardon. Prince Alfred College, you I went to. to your elders with respect. I'm How old are you? 81. Oh, well, and I don't give a bugger. I'm like 66, that. and I took the way I went. And I went to Prince Alfred College, not St. Peter's College. Well, you, wherever you went, you I reckon he would have done better than you. You're a Dick Brain. See you later, you bloody shit. You're a stupid old lady. You are so rude. You're a stupid old. You are a stupid old lady. Goodbye. We asked the general manager of Five AA, Paul Bartlett, for his reaction. He told us. Following this broadcast, I have had conversations at length with both Bob Francis and the lady involved, Constance. Regular listeners to the Bob Francis program understand his unique style. Unfortunately, we don't know if Constance understands it. Until next week, good night.